Okay then, so it is Sunday car boot haul time and my day was pretty much saved by someone who came up to me and said, are you James? It's like, oh God, yeah, what have I done now? Um, but no, it wasn't, it was all good. So I bought a PS1 and a PS3 from this guy. PS1 appears to be chipped as there are um, copied games and the, the non-copied games are actually quite decent. And he said, look, just give me, just tell me what you want to pay. And I said, I don't know, 50 quid knowing that I can sell the PS3 for about that so that everything else is just pure profit really it's a yes straight away so I probably should have gone lower um, so th yeah there's a fair few decent games as I said there's a load of copied games and there's a load of genuine games so Uno Memento we've got Dino's Crisis 2 um, which has been squashed down into just a cd case so i mean it's proper buggered which is a real shame as you can see there it's just completely creased uh, we've got legacy of kane which is a demo uh demo one dino crisis which has got that's uh, just the um the manual uh, toka 2 inlay loads of random rubbish uh i've got you know what, I have got a whole stack of copied stuff to get rid of. Oh, that's sticking together. What is that about? I don't know, but it's got Evil Dead, Hail to the King, and Infinite Professional Digital Thingamajiggy. Let's get rid of all the copied stuff, because no one really cares about that. It's the main games that are, are the peak of interest. So, in here, we've got... Le what on earth is that? Is that, oh, I don't say that's wet. You know what? I've never seen that before. That's Legacy of Kane. Where it all, that's wicked. I'm fairly sure I don't have that. In a case, it does, so I, I forget the camera's over here. In a case, it does look off. So yeah, that is Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver which I do vaguely remember playing this with my little brother way back when. Um, we've got Tekken 3 manual. We've got Resident Evil Platinum version. We've got Parasite Eve 2. Pro Evo Superstar Soccer Pro Platinum version. Dino Crisis. Uh, Resi 2 Black Label. Colin McRae. Tomb Raider 3, Die Hard Trilogy, Platinum, Resident Evil 3, Nemesis, Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation, Black Label, Tenchu, or Tenko, Tenchu, Tenchu, Tenko, Ten Tenchu, Tenchu, uh, the second one, <laughs> uh, Tomb Raider 2, Lara Croft, and Silent Hill. So, as far as the games go, yeah, pretty decent. We have got the ps1 as well which it's got copied game inside it which would lead me to believe that it is going to be a chipped console um so and i've still got a whole stack of about honestly like 50 60 games of just copied stuff so i've just never got around to do dealing with it so the chances are for the time being all of the copied rubbish is just going to all be piled together um and then the ps3 is this bad boy which is in overall fairly good condition I've just reformatted two so I'll stick this on while I go in and edit everything which comes with a third party I've got no idea what controller that is um, after afterglow that's not bad uh, what else do we have an official PS3 controller, which is always nice. Fairly decent nick. Times two. A power cable, which has got a bit of paint on it. And yeah, no HDMI, which is to be expected. So all I'm gonna do is yeah, reformat it, list it with just one controller. Uh, spare controllers I always list, list separately. So I've got three PS3s in stock, which isn't bad going. 
And yeah, this was the save of the day at one stage because it was absolutely woeful. Right, let's get the rest of the gear out. I mean, I've not gone through my PS1 games in, I don't think I've actually done it this year. So that should give me a good excuse to actually go through um, and I can sort everything out. I think it's the only thing I've got on camera, which is really annoying. Um, today was absolutely dreadful. There must have been, honestly, between eight and ten times the amount of buyers to sellers. So it was just just dire. Um, but I paid £2 for this. It is a Yamaha Classic FM recorder learn to how to set. So it does actually have Classic FM on the Yamaha recorder itself. Uh, there is one for sale at the moment uh, for £20 starting bids. So yeah, I, I think about if that sells between 20 to 30, if we get a second lockdown, I would imagine this will sell very, very quickly. How much for your recorder? For the folder, mate? Yeah. Just makes an offer. We're just trying to sell it all, mate. So I'm I'm not, I'll too, mate. wait and see what else comes out just in case. All right, I'll mate. build up a little pile. Yeah, all right, then fair enough. Yeah, fair I won't enough. run, don't worry. Yeah, no, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> Things to sell, mate. A hey. couple of quid? Yeah, all right, two pound, that does. Nice one. Lovely. All right, enjoy. Cheers, thank you. This might also be my favourite pickup of the day. I paid a fiver for this. And it is a Pure Sonus 1XT. Now this isn't just your average Pure radio. This actually works for those who are blind or at least partially sighted. So it will, yeah, it will basically tell you what the stations are if it works. If it doesn't work, I should double my money at least. It should be between 10 and 15 pounds if it doesn't work. If it does work, however, I don't actually have a a power cable for it, although I might have a spare one knocking around, I don't know. Uh, you're looking around 70 quid, which is, yeah, for a fiver investment, quite happy. Bought me mum a candle because they smell amazing. Um, although my dad did say, like, enough for the candles, son, she's got enough. But it's just a nice, fresh smell, and it is fluffy towels. I bought shoe trees again. Um, I, I don't know why, but they seem to keep on finding me. These are nice retro wooden shoe trees now this is by brooks brothers established 1818 i paid four pounds for the pair and they are they are quite cute um as far as shoe trees go so no idea what they are worth to be honest with you but yeah i i just quite fancy them we have a pair of northwest waterproof boots these barely look used to be honest with you i mean look at the tread on those they are fantastic fabulous stupendous and fantastic all at the same time whatever that word was that i just came up with uh yeah four pounds which in this condition genuinely no idea but it's got to be more than four pounds surely from the same guy i got the shoes from these were a pound each so you have ps3 modern warfare 3 ps3 modern warfare 2 and we also have on the ds professor layton and the lost future uh Nice, standy, easy listing with video games. And then I found some, well, I didn't say I found some. Um, Theo found some. Uh, he found a, a box of DVDs and VHSs. VHSs were 25 pence each. DVDs were 25 pence each or six for a pound. Didn't pick up any VHSs. There's loads of Disney ones, but I just didn't pick them up because I've got so many VHS tapes to go through. However, I did pick up some DVDs. So we do have Aladdin and the king of thieves uh, king of thieves special edition we've got spider-man the venom saga which as you can see cx is selling out for eight pounds at some stage uh, captain america the first avenger toy story 2 uh, power rangers dino thunder the complete series so that's got seven discs in it and then ghostbusters one and two so yeah those cost me a quid and then some more video games, which I bought off the same guy that I bought the um, the radio off of. 
So these cost me six or seven pounds, I think. I think it was seven in the end. So we have Doctor Who Evacuation Earth on a DS. We've got Project Gotham Racing 4 Classics for the Xbox 360. Red Dead Revolver on the Xbox. And we have Gran Turismo 5 Prologue on the PS3. And that is pretty much everything I picked up on Sunday. So as you guys are most likely aware, it was quite bad weather at the weekend. Now, there's normally two car boots that I, I tend to flick between, or I'll go to one first and another one afterwards on a Sunday. However, the one that I normally go to afterwards wasn't actually open. And a few of the sellers who I know go to the second one actually turned up at the first one. So weather was, was bad and there was just far too many buyers. I, I have personally noticed that there are, I mean, admittedly, the weather could have been a, a huge factor this particular week. But there seems to be more buyers every single week. So I know there's a few Facebook uh, videos doing the rounds of retail arbitrage and it's really easy to make money, blah, 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 blah. So that's probably going to uh, help drive an influx of buyers to the car boots. But I think it was mainly the weather conditions today where there was, again, there was just more people than usual. So I've got two more videos to record, which you'll probably see at least one of them before this one comes out. So yeah, I'll catch you guys soon. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.